we go. Let's bookmark that page. So that might not have solved my problem, but we do have a game in progress. <laughs> now that I think more about it, I could have my TV delegate to the official Leech Us TV if I don't find anything. Uh, that would be awfully hokey, and I don't want to do that. I mean, it would promote the main site, but it would cause so much confusion. Yeah, well played, Stockfish. Well played. I should perhaps get in the habit of playing E4 and D4 more frequently in my own Atomic games. Sure, it avoids all the flashy stuff with Knight F3 and Knight H3, but it ensures that White gets something resembling a playable game. Um. It's quite the noise, isn't it? hope that you don't find the echo too disturbing. But if you do, I'll turn this down. Here. That's good. Wow. Very clever. Huh. Yeah. That's some really delicate piece maneuvering right there.
hey look guess who's gonna win this game it's not stockfish uh, at least probably not <laughs> yeah you just have to push the pawn although having the kings so close together poses this risk And this risk being, now you have to find a way to separate the kings. Um, it's doable. It's just a little tricky. Either you separate them or you have to explode the opposing king. But okay, yeah. Bailey's got it. Well played. Well done. Oh, that's right. No, I see. I actually succeeded at my objective. Uh, my objective was to show games that don't have a clock. These, this game is untimed, and it's still showing. So I actually succeeded. That's quite surprising. Granted, on the production Lee Chess page, you would never have the situation where correspondence games are continually being updated, but um, normal games, there just aren't any. Um, but that's the case quite often on this dev server, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Do not have a good feeling about the way that's going for white. White's days are very numbered at this point. And it's not a very good number either. <laughs> you have to just keep dodging, right? No, you have to go king e5. I mean, you're still probably hosed, but you have to try king e5 there. I think white was just busted anyhow. Okay. Yeah, what makes this kind of exciting is that um, the opening book I've created is just entirely based off of fixed games, free internet chess server. And so um, it, it's based off of everybody's games, not just the people who are the best atomic players. So there is quite the opportunity to catch Stockfish in a trap. Or to just have it play some brazen inaccuracy way early in the game. Separately, I did observe a bug, I just haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. But the bug pertains to a stockfish undervaluing mobility of pieces. So it'll go out of its way to claim space and threaten to get past pawns or whatever, but forget that pieces, while mobile, can construct pretty heavy threats. Uh, so I need to rebalance um, those functions somehow to better consider peace mobility. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but it needs to be done. Oh, oh, no, that's that's not good. Okay, maybe maybe it's okay. 
Yeah, what I was thinking earlier is that Rook E1 to E2 might have confused Stockfish. It could have caused a perpetual. But yeah, now there's no perpetual. The earlier Rook E1, Rook E2 could have confused Stockfish because Stockfish would have had to give up a knight. Or yeah, we have to give up a knight to take the rook if it were on the e-file rather than the d-file. But um, the end game didn't look entirely promising. not looking good for the home team. I wonder what is there other than taking C2. Yeah, that taking C2 looked kind of forced there. But now, <laughs> what's going to follow, right? White's got a queen. Black has a knight and a bishop for the queen. So it's not bad. It's not good, but not bad. It's more of a just a met. Uh, okay, b5 is forced. Queen c6 is threatened. Uh, Bishop g6 is threatened. Possibly other things. And black is hosed. I didn't see either of those two moves, but those two in combination don't change my assessment. Yep. Yep. GG. It's quite the finesse, the rook AF1. Or was it CF1? I don't know. Yep, instead of chasing the king around, you just bring in the second rook because it made even faster than trying to explode the king. That was quite a finesse. GG. Uh, I mean, yeah, that looks pretty busted. I must admit, I have no idea what's going on in this opening. Uh, I've seen it before, but it's pretty complicated. Huh. I've not seen G4. G4 makes me think. Because it might be a good move. It really cuts off a lot of space. But there are certainly dangers that go with um, opening lines. Um, so how is Black going to win this? I guess by skullduggery tricking the right somehow. I don't understand how you could trick or out-calculate it, but maybe you can. What? That's a weird decision. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no, I see the forced mate in two either way, so... 
I didn't even consider that. I was thinking just rook c7 and try and mate with the rook in the knight, which is a lot more cumbersome than the direct um, forced mate in three. Okay. You know, maybe I just need to, like, <laughs> somehow provide handicaps here. Um, like, there's got to be some way to handicap a human player against the, uh, against the machine um, when playing Atomic. Ouch. Yeah, White's development is lagging just a touch. Just a touch. Yep. Saw that, saw that. Unfortunately. Stockfish is tricky. You are welcome to play against it on levels other than level eight, if that, if your desire is to um, have much stronger winning odds. Um, one of the things I'm trying to do uh, is on the game select dialog have it present an estimated rating of stockfish for or of the AI for the given category. Um, 
And I'm kind of curious what all the estimates would be. But yeah, you are welcome to play against it on levels other than level 8. And the, such games would still get featured here. I know I'm having difficulty sometimes beating it on level 1. It does play some good moves. And I'm... I don't know, I tend to find really obvious threats, but not much more. But somehow I got a high atomic rating on Leech Us anyhow. Let me see if I can get my own game to show up on that TV. This should be a fun little spectacle. Uh, okay. So let's start a game against level 1 Stockfish. Um, sure, I'll take white. Now why doesn't my game show up? Somehow Bailey's did. I've been so distracted here that uh, I tried to play it like a normal chess game. But, um, yeah, how come my own game doesn't show up on uh, that display? I don't understand. Alright, I've taken both knights. Gonna move my knights out. There was one knight. Okay, here I go, trying to checkmate it. It's far too clever. That was exactly what I'm up to. And it sacks its rook. Excellent. I need a rook odds if I'm going to beat it anyway, so. Alright. A6, A7, A8, Queen. Uh, queen A7. Okay. Oh, I get it. So I go queen a8, rook b8, queen c6, rook c8, queen d7, and, um, yeah, queen to e8 check, force stockfish to take my queen, then I check with my rook, check again. Damn it. I checked him to safety. Let me castle, use my other rook. And mate. Now my question is, why did that not show up on the Lee Chess TV? Is it because it's level one that it didn't show up? Yeah, what the heck? What if I pick level seven? Will that show up? Or is it only the case that level eight games show up? If so, then that's a huge bummer, because, um, or maybe I just broke something. Yeah, well, this, this Leech Us TV is not showing my game. must have confused it somehow. Bummer! Alright, well, we'll just watch uh, Bailey's games. 
uh, through his channel. Somehow those didn't show up on the Leech S T V. Just as games against level eight stockfish did. Even my game against level eight stockfish or AI did not show up. So I wonder what gives. Hmm. So I guess a resignation in a correspondence game somehow confuses uh, Leech Us TV. Which is maybe why we didn't allow such games to show up in the first place. Um. Okay, so I'm going to try reverting my change to this file um, in the expectation that, well, this will cause the TV to filter only for games that have been played or updated recently, so it doesn't get stuck on that old game. One second while I'm doing an update. Okay, so now the main Leech Us TV shows these games again. Namely over here. Oh, come on. I have to go to TV uh, slash computer. And yeah, this shows um, the most recent game in progress. Or at least it tries to keep, keep with current games. So it won't get hung up on games that have been resigned or decided by means other than on the board. So it's good. It's all good. Um, Rook F4. Oh, that hurts. I guess I guess some of that was inevitable anyhow. H3. No. Clever computer. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it does make more sense to trade knights there than to trade bishop for knight. 
personally, I have a pro night bias, but um, that's because humans tend to fail against night forks pretty easily, and against bishop attacks not so easily. Um, oh, wow, that was good. Clever, clever little bot. Hmm. The stockfish is quite resilient against being checkmated, but it'll give up material from time to time. Ooh, this is not looking good. Yeah. Yeah, I guess once you traded one piece for, or two pieces for one, uh, toward the end. That was the end of it. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how Black's... Oh, okay. I thought that was going to win, but apparently not. Apparently it isn't so simple. Um, maybe King D8. Okay, at least let the rook out I get. Well, where's it gonna go? Okay. Gotta pass the pawn. Maybe rook F8. If you don't play rook f8, sockfish, well, no, can't play bishop f7 and bishop g8. Can't play two moves at once. Um, that, that's a decisive move there. That bishop takes e5. Um, so, of course, stockfish wants to protect f1 using the bishop. It's just a matter of tactics here. Can Stockish manage to do so? I guess that's the point of Rook A8, is to stop Bishop B5 protecting F1. Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's clever. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> A cheeky little stockfish. No, I, I think there might have been some chances for... Well, no, never mind. Black gets his king too close to his own pawn. Uh, his king has no shelter. So, yeah, that should have been a draw.
Kaboom! No remorse. <laughs> it just, bam, it gets your king. That's so incredibly mean of it. Okay. I admit I don't know much about this opening either. Uh, particularly that move. That's weird. So what's... Uh, maybe bishop h6 is standard. I don't know. This is incredibly scary stuff, but what are you going to do? G3 tries to lock this up. Um, yeah, I guess you just have to finish development, I guess. Bishop takes f5 might have been a bit too anxious. I suspect there are ways to activate pieces without sacking the bishop for pawn, but maybe there's counterplay. It's going to be one heck of an endgame. we've gotten stockfish trapped, no? Yeah, it looks like he got it. No, 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 it's rook f2. It was right there. Oh my goodness. Rook f4, king e2, rook f2, and then take the knight. Although, I guess king e3 is an option. Stockfish does not need to play king e2. I don't understand why. Oh, it transposes. I'm sorry, king e3, you just take the pawn, but. Yeah, king e2, you just rook f2, and then rook takes knight. It's mate. Uh, it's a fun little trick you can do with the rook. Uh, in normal chess, a king and a rook are about equally strong. Oh, I missed bishop takes g3. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm not awake. Uh, Stockfish is clever. It's no wonder it beats me. Yeah, I was stunned if there were some calculation error, but... Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Kaboom! Well, with that, I'm going to take off here for a little bit, leave this running. Um, I'll be back in a little bit. But I'm tired and I need a break. So, I shall BRB. Have fun. And, yeah, just have fun. Hopefully more people will come along and help play this too. Um, so we can see what's going on and uh, how to improve it. Yeah. If atomic's too hard, keep in mind there are other variants too. But yeah, atomic is the most popular and 
I think in many ways the most fun of the variants um, that's supported at the moment. 